Hey guys, I'm going to do a video on binder organization and just go through the process of what I do, what I've learned to do um, to just make up a binder. I'm not going to show you the entire process because um, mainly I can't print out the title because I don't have any ink in my printer at the moment, but I'll get the general gist of the idea. So basically, uh, what I'm going to do is show you some products and what I am going to simply do also is to show you um, my partner's book. Now he's at work at the moment so I decided I'm going to be a nice nice girlfriend and organize a folder for him because he needs one too um, and I'll quickly just show you one example very briefly What if you have already watched my organization brief thing I'm very sorry but I will just show you. So, um, actually I'll show you two examples, so bear with me for one second. You can see my pretty room, I'm not really organised, um, but I'm going to make this video anyway. Okay, so, um, if you've watched my previous video, you'll see that this is one of the examples of the binder that I created for my schoolwork. So, I like to use uh, tabs, I like to use plastic pockets for my things and these can get expensive but usually I pay about $4 for a hundred. I've gone through three, four hundred already in just one day organizing everything else so I need to get some more of these but I do have some to show you and uh, I label things as well. So this is an example of one that I created yesterday my aged care work. This is an example of one that I'm trying to work out whether I would like to do the same thing for and this is one I created a long time ago and I don't really like these folders so I'm probably going to change it but this is a bigger binder folder it has this kind of clip and basically this is for um, this is for my writing articles that I used to have. I'm still working out. I have a whole pile of them. Um, and I actually used plastic pockets and I hand labeled with my labeler um, the alphabet. So back in the day when I did everything on the cheap, I still do things on the cheap, but this is another example of how I like to organize. This project has been a project in transition for about three years. So I've on and off tried to do things and add to it. I'm trying to work out a system for that as well. But you kind of need money as well to do that. Okay. So basically I like to go to Officeworks or Kmart. Don't really like to go to Target because it's quite expensive over here. But I'm pretty sure in America it's a lot cheaper because a lot of the products are shipped over from America over here. Okay, so um, today I picked up one at Officeworks and usually they go for about $2, $3. Um, I paid $2.59 because it was on special and I should have got some more but when I picked it up it said it was $3 so I just picked it up. This one is a little bit different to the one I showed you yesterday but primarily it is exactly what we're just doing. So it's, just, it's the same thing. It's a clear white folder with two rings, a pocket in, on the inside and a clear plastic pocket that you can stick a title page, a back page, whatever you want to put, put on it. So I'm going to start this process um, by showing you this and now I'm going to, I don't like these stickers, um, I'm not going to remove them because they always end up making a mess. So what I have thought to do is to take some of these tabs which are Avery stickers white rectangle they come in packs of 21 now these are a little bit too large but we'll work with that and what I want to do primarily is to just cover that crap up I might just stick it in the middle and I'll fix that up later, but you, you know, you find one that works well for you and you use it. And you can get bigger ones than this or smaller ones. For me, I'm just going to uh, a bit of a snip. I 
And some of them are a little bit more lenient to taking them off as well. Um, these ones, not so much, so. Okay. Just gonna. Give that a bit of a snip. Okay, so you get the point. I'm gonna fix it up later. You, put, you find a label that actually um, goes there, like stickers, or uh, maybe um, I think uh, with these ones, as you can see, you can actually stick a label up there. So if you can get these horrible freaking stickers off the whole thing, it's more neat and tidy. And you could probably print one out and then just slip it up there. But these folders, because they are a little bit cheaper, which I don't mind because I cover them up and it's not so important. But um, yeah, I ha I can't take the stickers off, so I cover them up with labels. Uh, these Avery labels. So you can work with it, do what you like with it. Um, this one's my partner's one. I know it should be a little bit neater, but I don't think he's going to care. This is my experimenting one showing you guys. Okay, let's move the process on because I don't want to make this video too long. Okay, so the next thing we use are some coloured tabs, or in this case I'm thinking of using white tabs for um, another one. But I'm going to be nice and I'm going to uh, let my partner have these colourful tabs because I have some too and use my white ones and white ones. So what I do first is I put all of these in the folder. So we open it up. Make sure it doesn't fall off the desk. Line them up and slip them in. Okay, so when they're in, we're going to get ourselves some plastic pockets. Now for this example I'm just going to show you like, I'm going to put maybe five in. Maybe a handful. Maybe a little bit more than five and knock the camera over. Okay, so that's what it looks like inside. Lovely and pretty and colourful. I actually want to steal this folder right now but I'm not going to because I'm going to be nice <laughs> and do it for him. Okay, so you, you find a tab. Let's just say for example that this pink tab is my partner's um, medical stuff that he has to deal with and do whatever he wants to do with it. So he's got lots of medical bills, lots of um, slips and payment slips and stuff like that and notes that he wants to put away. So basically you just slip those plastic pockets in between the things. Uh, it's pretty basic stuff so I don't want to go into too much detail because I don't want to... Um, it's, it's just basic stuff so yeah. You slip it in, put it in the thing, and there you go. And so, let's say, for example, he's got his medical bills, and so he just basically slips that inside. There we go. And let's just imagine that he's got about 700 medical bills in here, and it's all there in one place, which I absolutely love. This is one of the best systems I have ever thought of. Not ever thought of, but ever considered rather, and I have a lot of people to thank for. And it's pretty basic stuff. This stuff I used to do in high school, but I have a lot of people to thank for because it is brilliant. I have been struggling a lot with everything. So, um, so basically, what we'll do is I'm going to be nice and I'm going to label it for him because he's a grown man. But sometimes I like to do things for my man. So I take some labels, um, these are Avery sample labels, and they basically come off the sheet like so, and they look like that. Okay, and then I, uh, I write what the topic is, so in his case, it's medical. And then I will <coughs> slip that little piece of paper label onto the little doobie thing, the tab. And there we go, it's medical. Now for his case, he may actually um, have uh, different things like dietitian, uh, endocrinologist, I think that might be the same thing, but I'm not sure. Um, these are all the things he needs for his diabetes. So he could actually buy a whole folder 
and make up different things. You know, he's dietitian, um, he's foot therapist, he's nose trim professional hairdresser. Um, whatever he wants to do, he can put it in these files, and that is one of the best systems I can tell you. And the good thing is that if he needs to get his nose hair trimmed and go to the doctors and um, go to the gastro guy and get his ears clipped off, he can take this folder with him everywhere and it's all in the one place. So he's not having to carry around um, a I was going to say handbag. He doesn't have a handbag, but he doesn't have to slip them all into his bag and all into his wallet or anything like that. He can go around professionally and say, Hi, dietitian. Here is my folder. This is all the notes you've given me. Can you give me any more? Or he can go to his doctor and say, My dietitian said this. This is what she said. Could you look it over and see if that is right? And I love that. And so we put this on there. And I'm just going to... I'm not going to fiddle with that. I don't think he's going to care. <laughs> I made a boo-boo, but maybe next time I won't do it on camera. So... We don't make, we make sure we cut this, if it's, especially if it's like this, it's not really like um, paper, it feels more like plastic sort of stuff. We do that before we um, decide to stick it on. So you measure it before you decide to stick it on. Otherwise you get this hangover and it looks kind of dodgy. But, you know, that happens. Okay, so I think that's pretty much a good example of how you set up a binder. And also what you can do is you can like um, use the pockets if you are running like if you are uh, you know say running late for an appointment and you have a couple of receipts or whatnot and you don't have like you're on the bus and you need to just go home and you can just slip them into here really easily and then when you get home you can sort them out into whatever thing you like. And also, if you uh, if you want to, which I will probably be doing soon, is you can buy these binder books. And if you want to actually take notes or anything like that, just you know, pop it in, and you can have one for anything. You can have one for since these are pretty cheap. I think you know, averaging like ten to a dollar, ten cents to a dollar. You can put one for every doctor or everything, and then when they want to talk to you about something you can write it down or you can make notes or have a food diary or whatever and it's good because you can stick it in this binder so that is what it looks like and so he can buy his own notebooks because they're my notebooks you can't have those so <laughs> that's basically really what I've done um, again it's very simple process I will show you some of the uh, some of the products I have used in this video. Basically, we have ourselves here a folder. Then we have a binder book if you would like that. Then we have some stickers, any kind of label stickers will do. You can have small, large, whatever kind you like. I just picked up these to test them out. If you want to buy yourself some uh, protectors, pre stick, whatever, boss stick, whatever brand you want to buy. These ones are old ones, but I have also bought Office One or Office Works ones. They're really cheap. Roughly about two to four dollars. Some other label stickers. Your tab dividers. You can get any color of the rainbow, any sort. You can get these really, um, you can get round ones, you can get small ones. I picked up these for when I actually buy myself a smaller binder because I want to have a smaller binder for other things. These cost me 13 cents on sale. Usually they're about $2.30, 13 cents. I I should have got more, I really should have, but I, I was keeping myself calm. So you can get smaller ones as well. And if you don't like those boring, yucky, muted colors, you can get colorful ones that have alphabets on the side. Um, yeah, the really the world is your oyster when it comes to binding. So that is how I would bind a book. That is how I would set up a system. And it's pretty easy, guys. Um, yeah. So if there's anything else you want me to do or want me to show you, uh, let me know. Any ideas? I'm going to be setting up hopefully a writing one soon, and I'll be able to show you 
hopefully what that one comes out like. Um, so yeah, that's just my brief example of how to set up a binder, really. Uh, you could also probably, you know, use some things like stickers and tabs and colourful things if you want to decorate it. I just like to keep mine simple because um, I find that if I clutter it up with too much colour and stickers and whatnot, then it kind of defeats the purpose of being clean and organised for me. So yeah, and hopefully when I start studying, I'll actually have a binder that I can show you um, and how I set up my study study binder and things like that. So yeah, I know this is primarily a book channel, but guys, I love these videos. I love organising stuff. I love showing you how to organise things. I love exploring it with you guys because it's really fun. And when you don't make mistakes, it's fun. A lot more fun. But mistakes happen. So <laughs> we just roll with that. If you like this video, please let me know. If you have any other further ideas or further comments, please let me know. And I shall talk to you guys soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.